Greetings, I am Goddess Isis, sharing changes in your journey home. Beloved ones, I wish to share with so much joy in my heart the changes in your journey home. I am not alone with this message today. I have many masters gathering around to wish you all well on your path home to your new earth with great love and pride. Greetings my beloveds, greetings dear loving souls. It is our honour to be here with you today, for today we bring a special message. Today we speak of simplicity. Yes, today the message is quite easy to accept. Today the message is about you. It is about yourself, your feelings, your acceptance, your love, your kindness and the beauty within you. We ask you to relax. Perhaps take a deep breath. Yes. Today many gather around to participate in the energies of the day today and to bring about what is in this moment. What it is we see that many have been discovering and that what many have been asking for. Yes, indeed, it is a very beautiful time to be human. We gather here in our hearts to commune together, to be together, to enjoy each other's presence. Today we offer compassion with you, to you. Today we envelop you in our arms, in our wings and bright colours. Dear beloveds, today we sit with you in your divinity. We've spoken before of how many changes that there are occurring at this time. Indeed there are many. There are moments of quiet. There are moments of apparent chaos and many feelings within you adjusting within your conscious beingness and many feelings adjusting within others conscious beingness as well. This is causing a lot of questions, a lot of curiosity, a lot of defense mechanisms. Hmm. Indeed, it is a necessary part of the transitions that are incurring. Indeed, it is a part of the, nat the natural rhythm, natural cycles, just as Gaia has her own cycles, just as human beings have their own cycles. There is cycles in consciousness as well cycles of energy. Dear ones, we'd like to share there is special breakthroughs occurring. There is special love in your hearts that is erupting. We see how you are beginning to connect with the energies of home. Once again, you are gaining skill with the consciousness energies in motion at this time. You are gaining a familiarity with how the energies move back and forth and you are learning to be familiar with the discomforts perhaps. Yes, beloved ones, it is a wonderful awakening process in motion. Many are moving into this awakening process. Many new many who are very familiar with it. It is you who are moving out, moving about, moving forward, moving into this loving oneness with being, 
with self. We tell you these emotions, these feelings are natural rhythms that you feel inside and they are part of your journey, part of what is occurring around you, part of what is occurring within you and that is natural as we have spoken. That is a simple process although it has caused perhaps a lot of conflict. How to process these energies when you are so used to doing it another way, so used to being in your own energies, understanding the predictability of what your energies were, and they have become unpredictable, have they not? Many questions, the mind especially having these questions, the belief systems reacting to the energies which are no longer systematic as they once were. New energy is not systematic. New energy is new and bold, is it not, in the moment? As it were, unpredictable, and many of you, all of you, day by day, minute by minute, are learning on how to adapt, both to what is occurring in you and what is occurring out of you, what you desire most, the feeling of connection with Source. Yes, dear beloveds, you must, and most connected you are, most connected with Source. Your love and compassion, if you could see it on the other side, is infinite. It is quite a blessing, quite beautiful to watch. The process in motion to say, I want to be a part of this process in motion, and then to be a part of that process in motion, to take place, to be part of what that process entails, to experience the process in motion, to know the connection to source within so well, yet to experience so much turbulence in preparation for all. It is a very honourable path indeed. Many of you feel an energy or a change and you immediately judge what the change is. You feel it and say, this is what I am. This is who we are. This is what I am experiencing. And that is very necessary and very appropriate. There is no fault in that. There is no judgment. Any belief that serves to gain acceptance will be a belief that is serving you. Any belief that is causing a bit of resistance or perhaps coming up as resistance will no longer be serving you. You see, many beliefs, many of these beliefs are outdated now. You, yourself in motion, your consciousness awakening in motion is looking for looking for how shall we say energies that you can embrace and we say you we mean the you that feels the you that goes out into the near realms and the far realms to be in spirit the you that you are looking for and this you is beyond the mind Beloved ones, the belief that are limiting will be coming up for some fresh air, coming up to offer their last bit of service to you, helping you to see, helping you, your mind, pointing out for you. This is what I believe as I feel these emotions or as I sense these feelings. You will notice that something is afoot. There is a bit of a change in these beliefs. 
you do not quite believe what the belief is. Your belief is changing. The experience, the knowingness is changing right under your feet. And the belief sits on the top for the brain has accessed it for you as a familiarity, as a way to show that it knows what energy you are encountering, but it does not. It is okay, dear ones, to be, to allow these beliefs to go. You are not losing yourself. You are you are you. In fact, you are reconnecting. You are gaining a bit more understanding of who you really are. A bit more knowing of who you really are. It is the judgment and fear that does not allow this natural process to occur. It is the fear and judgment that causes the resistance. You learn to be your energy to be in the presence as you are very familiar with and you watch the mind in motion you watch how it works against how it works with you how it is trying to figure out what is going on and you watch patiently and silently you allow yourself to be in whatever feelings you feel you want to express whatever feelings are there. Acceptance moves consciousness forward, dear ones. Allow the energies to be with you. The picture we are pointing out to you, you are changing. The essence of you is changing. The mind will sometimes do its best to understand and express what this is and is, it is right. It is the I am. It is growth. But it is learning too. And it learns from you, your spirit, your consciousness. In its highest honour in service at this time. These en energies, dear one, are coming into alignment. The simplicity that you have learned to be, that you have craved, the simplicity of your spirit, of the new energy which comes to you in the moment. That is how the new energy works. We are not asking you to release all your beliefs, only the ones that you feel are not serving you. You might say an old belief is somewhat like a business or a large business that has grown too big. You call them when you look for the answers and they tell you that it has gone someplace else, perhaps to another department. Mm -hmm. Beloved ones, that time is now. You are being invited to join together in a great cause to complete a great mission. You are ready. The earth is waiting for you. It is time. Healers and grid workers worldwide are being called into action by the Star Elders, Star Walkers Council, the Masters of Light. You are being called to assist in a great healing and realignment of the earth's grid. You are called to help heal old breaks between the dimensions caused by misuses of power. You and I, no matter how small or insignificant we might see ourselves, are called to assist in the greatest healing and acceleration of human evolution ever experienced by living being 
We are being called to help those who have used, misused their power in the past and those who have been hurt by this misuse of power. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do the something that I can do. What I can do, I should do. And what I should do, by the grace of God, I will do. That is by Edward Everett Hale. And unless you try to do something beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. That is by Ralford Waldo Emerson. It is now time for great compassion and great forgiveness, offered in a space of non-judgment, without ego from the heart. The wrongs created in the past were done by those doing the best they could in an environment that did not reveal truth adequately. We are being called into action and to put to use the light, power and unconditional love. It is time for us to come fully realizing how magnificent we truly are. Our first line of defense against unhappiness is refusing to believe that we are victims in the bad intentions of others. The formula is, do not blame the tr trigger. The world is full of triggers. In fact, life is designed like that so that we will truly practice. We can be grateful for all the triggers as without them, we might never recognize our own unfortunate reactions. And that quote there is Aya Kimna. And you have the light. What are you doing with it? By Paul Claude. Now those quotes are very much fitting. And Rosalie, my partner, loves quotes so much. <laughs> so I thought I would play ask her to place these in so that I also may join in with her passion. <laughs> I know she is very much a passionate quote lover. So I just thought I would ask her to put a couple of quotes that I know that would fit in with what I've been sharing. So I hope you enjoyed those couple of quotes. But beloved ones, a new earth takes shape effortlessly as a result through grace from the entire center of all being. And what an honor that we awaken and realize and vibrate our part in this incredible adventure. Consciously is truly an adventurer who carries the grace of miracles and infinite transformation throughout all pockets of creation forever. You are all part of all that is, and I am so proud of you all in taking part in this journey with us. Namaste, I am Isis, always at your service and at your call whenever I am needed with love. And I, Rosalie, and the Masters also give thanks for being here today and listening. I hope it has been of some assistance to you. Namaste.